New York Yankees fans, how's it going? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you share that link. We do showcase numerous websites on NYNews.com. So if you have a blog, if you like to write, send me a message and I will feature you on the website. Like always, hola como estas? Yankees fans, the New York Yankees haven't had really a productive first baseman since, let's say, Mark Teixeira. And really, first base has been a premier spot for the New York Yankees since Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly, Tina Martinez, Giambi, Mark Teixeira. So now we're in the Greg Bird era. Greg Bird is healthy, okay? He could catch fire at any minute, right? We saw him belt two home runs over a week ago. But then he goes into slumps, okay? And I can't stand Greg Bird's interviews. He seems too happy. If I were Greg Bird, like I said, that's his personality, right? But I don't know. If I were Greg Bird, I'll give interviews where I'm pissed at myself. He seems to be happy with his situation. He seems to be happy that he's not hitting. If I were Greg Bird, I'll switch it up and say, hey, I suck. I'm not producing. The Yankees are obviously investing all this time with me, seeing if I can turn things around, and really I'm not. So I can see why the Yankees traded away Tyler Austin because he was out of options. Um, obviously, they needed to trade him. Obviously, the Yankees needed a left-handed bat. But you guys know I am a Tyler Austin guy. I was. So the Yankees are sacrificing all this time, all these players for Greg Bird. The Yankees really needed a left-handed bat in that lineup. They're not pulling the trigger with uh, Justin Smoke, who, in my opinion, would be a great addition to this ball club. I mean, any player that's not named Greg Bird would be an automatic upgrade to Greg Bird. Greg Bird is not performing. The Yankees really need a left-handed bat that performs and contributes in that lineup. You guys know, I have said this repeatedly, that the Yankees' play does not reflect their record. Even people like Pedro Martinez is noticing. He says, hey, the Yankees are the Yankees, right? But they're not playing like World Series contenders. Like I said numerous times, I think the league is just weak. I think the Red Sox and the Yankees are taking advantage of these weak teams. And this is why you see their records inflated the way they are. I personally believe that the Yankees need to add a starting pitcher and another bat. But at this point, I don't see it happening. We saw the Nationals become sellers. I could see them putting a few more players on the waiver wire. We saw the Dodgers cock block Harper. They claimed him and a deal didn't go through. So the Dodgers really messed up a contender obtaining Harper. Obviously, Harper was not going to land to the Yankees. He had to go through all those teams. But the Dodgers really messed up the chances of a contender picking up Harper. Maybe they did a favor to other contending teams. But if you are going to claim a player like Harper, you better have the players to trade for him or have a deal ready to make that deal happen. At this point, I don't see the Dodgers making the playoffs. I see the Dodgers flopping. Obviously, they traded for Machado, another player. They stole away, really, from other teams as well. So, hey, that's karma. Karma is about to bite the Dodgers right back in the ass because, realistically, in my opinion, the Dodgers are not making the playoffs. They have two teams ahead of them, Colorado Rockies and the D-backs. The Rockies had Matt, Matt Holliday uh, influencing all these young players just as he did when he was on the Yankees. So I could see Matt Holliday helping the Rockies for that playoff push. So you could stick a fork in the Dodgers. In my opinion, if the Yankees want to keep this momentum, selling tickets, uh, ratings, etc., they will add another bat or make another splash before the August 31st deadline. If they don't, they're telling their fan base, hey, we're cheap. We're not going to make moves this season. Just wait for next year. But that momentum is not going to be there because, because we all know the obvious. The Yankees are not World Series contenders if they don't make these moves that they are supposed to make this season. So, for an example, if Aaron Judge comes back and re-injures his wrist, um, the August 31st deadline has passed. Really, you can't replace Aaron Judge with anybody. There's no options. So if I were the Yankees, I will pick up a bat to fill in for Aaron Judge for the meantime. And if he re-injures that wrist, because we all know those kinds of injuries are reoccurring if it doesn't heal properly. 
And the same could be said about Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez could go down again. So the Yankees really need to pick up a bat. They really need to improve this team because we all know, like I said, the Yankees' level of play does not reflect their record. Let's be realistic, Yankees fans. The Yankees, with a rotation of Lance Lynn, uh, CeCe Zabathia, Tanaka, Luis Severino is your ace. Luis Severino looks like he's bouncing back, but you can't be too sure unless you see more starts of Luis Severino. A rotation of those pitchers, they're not going to win you a World Series championship. I'm sorry to say because the Yankees rely too much on the home run ball. So come playoff time, they are going to rely on hitting home runs. And pitchers really on opposing teams in contention are just going to shut the Yankees down. The only real positive, the only real good pickup the Yankees have made has been with Jay Happ. Jay Happ has been solid. I can see the Yankees re-signing him instead of CeCe Zabathia next season. They should. But like I said, the way the Yankees are running their organization, I don't see the Yankees signing Corbin. I'm sorry. Okay, people keep telling me Felix are crazy. They're going to sign him. He's their number one priority. But the way the Yankees are functioning, they would rather give that shot to Sheffield and save money. So pay attention to the August 31st deadline. If the Yankees don't make moves, like I said, that's just going to ruin their momentum. I can see Yankees fans being turned off. And I can see the Yankees losing ratings. I can see the Yes Network being hurt by ratings, the momentum, they're just going to kill the momentum because Yankees fans obviously want to see a contender. Yankees fans want to feel like their team is making the right moves to being World Series champions. So, like I said, it's a bad business move, not even contemplating, not even being in the news, not even being in the media of saying, hey, the Yankees are looking at this player or that player. There's word that the Yankees are looking to add this player. There's nothing of that. So pay attention to the August 31st deadline. Obviously, Greg Bird is going to be Greg Bird. He's obviously healthy. I wouldn't be surprised if he says, oh, he's injured again or whatever. He is going to be Greg Bird. The Yankees, like I said, as a franchise, has have never been so weak at first base for maybe over 30 years now. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you see the Yankees adding another bat or another player come the August 31st deadline? If so, which players would you like the Yankees to pick up? There's a whole bunch of players that have cleared waivers that could have a real big impact if added to the Yankees. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.